What's up guys? Today we're going to be trying out the brand new Fortnite Sniper. We do not do Nerf. We do Airsoft. Today we're going to be doing the VSR-10. This thing you can get from Evike or Amazon. I I'd recommend Evike. Um, but you take this lid off and there's a sniper, the mag, the speed loader, and these BBs. These BBs are honestly really bad so just like you know, just throw them away. And this wrench. So, um, take out the sniper, and under the sniper is an unjamming rod. So now you can, you can probably just get rid of this stuff, or you can use it as a case. But what's really nice about this thing is it's just so cheap. And it's so cheap, but it's also a good gun. Bolt action, spring loaded. It's a, right now it's on fire. This is safety, that's fire. Um, and. It's just a really good gun. So we're gonna fill up the speed loader. The way that you do this is you press this little button to open it up. Um, and then you and you open up this part right here. And then you just grab a handful of BBs and just put them in. So the speed loader is very useful in this kind of mag that we're going to be using. This is a different kind of mag. Usually, usually I, I don't really use this kind. Man, I'm spilling BBs everywhere. Oh my gosh. All right, so we got the speed loader filled up. So now for uh, to fill up the mag, usually you just dump them into I think the hopper, but there's no hopper on this one. So you press this little button and you press it down and then you put the speed loader up. Okay. And you just, you just click. You keep on pressing. Oh. Uh, okay. Um, I guess I lost grip. To put the mag into the sniper, you just, you see it right here. And then you point the part that has the BB in it at the end of the barrel and just slide it in until you hear a click. Click. All right. So now in order to shoot it, just pull up the lever, pull it back, push it forward, push it down, and then make sure it's on fire and then you can shoot it. I, I'm not going to shoot it inside right now, but we're going to, we're going to go shoot it outside later. But um, now I'm gonna get a scope. All right, so I got the scope and this one is missing a piece. Like this is just an example for a scope, but usually there would be another one of these pieces on this side. But what you would do is you would get the, the small part and you'd put it closer to you and just snap it on like this. This one, this one is the rails. This one doesn't have the iron sight. I would, I would really recommend one with rails that you can put a scope on. All right, so we got the scope on, and I think it's in a pretty comfortable spot. Um, and the price for this gun is, I think, $220 for the iron sights, which I would not recommend on, on Evike. And then for the rail, which you can put the scope on without any, without any accessories like, like the scope, it's about $125. Yeah, I'd recommend getting it off of Evike and not Amazon, um, but it does not come with a scope or a tripod. It's just this and all the other stuff that I showed you, except, except for the scope. And um, I, I also used this to put the scope on, just twisted it. And uh, I, I think it's a pretty good gun. It came in about a week and um, let's, let's go shoot it outside. All right, so we got the gun. I'm pretty sure it's already loaded. It's, oh yeah, that's good. So you just pull up the lever, pull it back, push it forward, put it down. And this is also a right-handed gun. So if you're left-handed, it wouldn't, it wouldn't really be that, that easy. No. Um, but I don't have a I don't have a fancy scope cam yet, so I can't I can't show you all of my shots. But um, when you pull it back twice, it'll actually shoot two BBs, which I don't like. So try not to pull it back twice. So just pull it back, shoot it. My scope isn't really dialed in yet, but you can do that yourself. It's pretty easy. I cannot believe myself. I just I just filmed this without recording. So now I'm gonna do it again. All right, so you pull back the lever, pull it forward, push it forward, push
Push it back down. All right, I'm, I'm gonna aim. I'm gonna aim for the burn barrel right there on my finger. All right, let's see if I can hit it without with, the scope isn't even dialed in yet. So let's see if I can hit it. By the way, I am also using 0.20 gram BBs. For a sniper like this, you should uh, you should maybe use 0.30. It's better, but with with 0.20 gram BBs, it goes about 430 FPS. I I honestly don't really know the count for the for the 0.30 gram BBs, but this is this is kind of long range. We're we're about to shoot some short range. But this is a great starter sniper. This is my first bolt action sniper that I've ever had. And the um the the orange part is still on it. You can probably put some tape on that if you're playing airsoft at a field. Alright, so that was long range. Now let's go into some shorter range. All right, so what I'm aiming for right now is that little hole right there. Let's see if I can hit it. Again, the scope isn't dialed in, but once I get it, these are gonna be super accurate. Right now, I'm aiming for the, the bottom right part because it's, it's not really dialed in. There we go. He'd be dead. Right there. Ooh. Snipers are, are really made for the people that want to stay away from, from the AR, stay out of range, and want to get a lot of kills from far range. But again, if you get a sniper, you need, um, you need a really good sidearm, like a good, a good CO2 pistol, what I'd recommend. Um, that's really good. Again, I, I got this from Evike. And I, I think it's a pretty good gun. Alright, last shot. Let's see. Let's see how good this one is. Alright. Ah. Alright, thank you for watching so much. Remember to always leave a like and subscribe. I, I really need some subs right now. I'm really trying to get to 100 subs. And just thank you for watching the video. Bye-bye.